Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Krenar and today we're going to talk about the new X MG30 Amp Modeler slash multi effects unit. I suspect that this might be a lengthy video, so get yourself comfortable and enjoy. Now, before we begin, if you like what I do here, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like, leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel because that really helps a lot. Thank you. If you've been following this product, you've probably seen hundreds of videos on how this thing sounds. I'm not going to show everything that this unit does or every sound that it has because as I said there's plenty of videos about it online but instead I want to fill the gaps that those videos didn't present so that you can make an educated guess before you pull the trigger on this product. Ever since a friend loaned me uh, his HX Tom for me to try out I was fascinated with how it sounds and the idea of having everything in one box and it would sound good. I didn't want to spend any more money on gear so what I decided to do is I decided to sell my entire pedal board so that I can fund one of these. But along the way came the uh, new XMG30 and the price of it was very reasonable so I decided to give it a shot see how it sounds, see how it performs against the HX Tom before I make a decision on what to buy. In all honesty, I've been hoping that this would sound better or at least just as good as the HX Tom because of its price point. I mean, the price point of this is very attractive. With all that said, I'll do a quick comparison with the HX Tom and that will be later on the video and if you want to check that out, I'll leave timestamps for you to navigate it more quickly. Let me start it off with this statement. The new XMG30 sounds brilliant. It sounds amazing and there's nothing to complain about in that department. But with products like this, the key word is also functionality. Without further ado, let's dive into the build quality, the features and the functions of this unit. As you can see, the form factor of this product is brilliant. It's not too big, not too small, and the build quality feels sturdy. The front panel is made out of some kind of metal, but the back is made out of hard plastic. All in all, it feels fairly decent. In the front, starting from the top left corner, we have a master output knob. And the master output knob pushes a lot of gain to your monitoring device. In my experience, it's best to leave it somewhere around 9 o'clock, and I feel that's where the sweet spot is. Under that, we have the save button, and it does what it says, it saves your presets. On the other side we have the main joystick that you can use to navigate the screen which by the way is magnificent, 10 out of 10 for that one. So this is the main preset screen and if you want to start changing things around and you want to start editing you just have to push the main joystick and it will bring you to the editing screen and it's fairly quick. So now you can choose your amps, you can choose whatever amp you want, you can choose the cabinet, you can choose the, so you, there's also a send and return in this uh, unit so you can plug in your favorite analog pedal and place that in the signal chain and I mean there's a univibe there's the modulation there's the delays so you can navigate with this uh, joystick wherever you want to go so when you're at a gig most likely you won't have time to navigate with a joystick but that's when the shortcut buttons come into play so let's say you're at a gig and you want to adjust your delay a little bit 
all you have to do is press down the delay button, hold it for a second, and this uh, editing screen of the delay will come up and you can easily use these knobs to manipulate your delay time and everything that uh, the effect offers. And that aspect, the user interface, they nailed it and they really pushed the envelope with this. So here we also have three foot switches and the bummer is that you can't use it in stomp mode. So that's not possible at the moment and I'm pretty sure it, it won't be in the future as well. But the fun part begins when you open up the box and you see this little guy right here. So this is a dual foot switch. It comes with the product so you don't have to purchase it separately. And it's just a simple dual foot switch. You can also power it in order for the LEDs to work. But the good thing is that you can also just plug in a TRS cable and plug it straight into the unit and you don't need any power. Don't worry about the LEDs because as I said the screen is very big and you can actually see when you uh, engage or disengage an effect. So the purpose of this is that you can assign a couple of pedals that you want to turn on and off during your set or during your practice and in theory you can have three assignable foot switches so the control can be tap tempo can be assigned to uh, turn effects on and off so if you can do it this way you can uh, you can assign an effect here and also here you can assign tap tempo here and then you have two effects that you can turn on and off so you can do whatever you want I mean three foot switches I think it, it's enough for this product another thing that I find neat about this product is that you can access the looper just by pressing these two buttons and you don't have to sacrifice another switch in your unit to act access the looper so i find that very cool to get out of the looper you press this twice and you're back in the main screen same thing goes for the tuner you don't need a separate switch for the tuner you just press these two tuner shows up and the screen is very big and i really like the tuner on this one again press the control button twice and you'll be sent to the main screen so when it comes down to inputs and outputs you have your regular input your aux in your headphone jack an effects loop uh, that you can do for cable method with you have your regular outputs stereo outputs and you can use the left one for mono as usual the expression pedal you can use another expression pedal or you can plug this guy in and the bummer is that it doesn't offer any XLR connections but another uh, plus to it is the Type-C USB connection which is very modern. Although yes it does have Type-C I think that the cable that they provide is too short for most uses. And I also think that the power supply that it comes with feels a bit cheap and feels a bit fragile. As I said the sounds that you can get out of this thing are just great. The amp models feel good under the fingers the effects sound amazing and the one thing that I like most about this product is that the uh, IRs, the stock IRs, they sound amazing and they sound very realistic. And by that, I mean with just a bit of tweaking, almost every amp sounds good through the Vintage 30 IR that it's built in. But you can also add your own IRs if you want. But hey, tone is all subjective and to be completely honest, most devices sound excellent nowadays. I think the only person to answer this was John Cordy, but most people that uploaded videos about this product didn't shine light to the fact that you can only use one effect from every category. For example, you can only use one delay at a time, so you can't use multiple delays in one preset. The only exception is the drives. So this is the drive button, it's marked as EFX. So you can use two drives, but in order to use two drives, you have to sacrifice the compression uh, block right here. Now you can use any overdrive that you want on the EFX block. And if you want another one to stack it with, you have to go to the compression and hold the compression button. And then it will switch the category to distortions and you can add another one. One thing that I find very interesting with this unit is the tweet amps and they react exactly the same as they would react in real life. I mean, when you push the gain knob, it's not gonna distort more, it's not gonna be louder, it's just gonna be more compressed, and it works exactly the same. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, can the new X MG30 compare to the eight, Line 6 HX Stomp? Although this product sounds amazing, and in fact, some amp models, I find them to be better on this as opposed to the Stomp, there's no comparison between them. The answer is no, you can't compare them. There are multiple reasons why the comparison isn't gonna do any justice because 
The HX Stomp has way more sound into it, it's way more flexible, and it just has more options and it just, it's not that limiting. For example, you can use multiple modulations, combine them with multiple delays as long as DSP allows on the HX Stomp. And on the new X, it's just a set signal chain and you can't do much about it. Another thing worth mentioning is the choice of effects. Although I said that most effects and most amp models sound perfectly fine on the new X MG30, they also have some interesting models. For example, the JHS Morning Glory. There's a limit. For example, if you're a fuzz lover, let me break it to you, there's only one fuzz model and that's the Big Muff model. I mean, come on, only one fuzz option? Anyways, another thing that I find to be very important is the fact that the community behind Line 6 and their Helix product is just amazing. We have custom tone to share tones. There's a great Facebook page. There's actually two Facebook pages, one for Helix, one for HX Stomp. And you have guys that work for Line 6 commenting and helping people around. And Line 6 is also known for updating their products very often. And I find that to be very valuable when it comes to stuff like this. Now, I know this isn't a video about the company and it's more for the consumers that want to buy this product. But if someone from New X is listening, take my advice, create a community, create a platform where people can share their thoughts and share tone. Another thing is try to back your product as much as you can with releasing updates or releasing notifications. And I mean, God damn it, come on. Forget about the drum machine and add a decent fuzz face with the next update, please. All right, guys, all in all, I think I'm gonna hang on to this instead of saving up more money to get the HX Stomp because I really think that the sound that this thing offers just overcome the limits that it has. And to be completely honest, I don't use more than two delays or more than two modulations anyways, so it's not a deal breaker for me whatsoever. And I also don't like utilizing advanced switching methods such as snapshots on the Helix. I mean, they're perfect, but I just don't use them at all, so I'm perfectly fine with the new X not having them. But I have to say one thing that I'll miss is the community behind this product. It's just amazing. All right guys, that'll be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If I missed something or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them under the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I apologize that I didn't play a lot in this video, but the whole purpose of this video was to help you try to decide if you want to purchase this product or not. I'm definitely going to release more videos about this product and what my favorite amp models are or how I create my presets. So stay tuned for that. But for now, there's a lot of videos where you can check the tones that this thing has. Again, if you like what I do, please do consider subscribing because that really helps a lot. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.